An issue that comes up as companies are developing medicines to bring them to market is the time and the speed with which they can get them into the hands of patients. And one of the barriers is the use of traditional technologies for manufacturing. People might be surprised to learn that some of the medicines on the market are made using the same approaches from 10, 20, 30 years ago. Newer approaches exist that are faster, more reliable. So Nimble exists to help companies find a way to adopt and implement those new technologies, enhancing patient access to medicines and vaccines. Being a member of Nimble allows us to access a network of biotech companies that are all working towards a similar goal of developing the next generation of uh, bioprocessing. It allows us to you know, take technologies that we've potentially developed through Nimble and apply them, which would you know, not only help us reduce costs, but could help the industry as a whole. I think if you step back, and maybe COVID has, has caused us to do that, to step back and say, how many people's lives are, are impacted by what we do? Think about it, you know, you've, throughout your life, all the times that you get touched by the life sciences business, whether it's through getting a test for something or, you know, actually receiving a, a therapeutic or a drug or a vaccination. Nimble is just, I think, an incredible collaboration opportunity for us. We get that access to other people who are maybe facing some of the same challenges. There's a test bed where we're able to provide equipment or consumables or cell lines and, you know, able to see them in real life practice. When you see not only Nimble, but you see, you know, Millipor Sigma and other companies or academics or regulatory bodies that are participating, the mindset is really if, if we all come together, then the industry as a whole wins, and that means that patients win. We got to a point where time was everything for us. We were down to being told Emily was 48 hours from organ failure. They took her cells off to the lab and trained them to be this army that was going to come back in and, and attack her cancer. So it was huge for us um, finding out then, finally in April, that uh, the cells were ready. So they gave her uh, her first dose of her modified engineered CAR T cells on April 17th of 2012. And she came back to us and opened up her eyes on her seventh birthday. Eight days later, uh, they checked her bone marrow and she had no evidence of leukemia. So she became the first child on earth with her immune system trained to beat her cancer. Some doctors work 25, 30 years to have that ready that day for Emily. Every second counted and didn't only save Emily, but it saved our family. Now we are um, nine years cancer free. Couldn't feel more blessed and more proud of her. We've seen around a thousand patients in 52 countries get that hope instead of having to go home on hospice from what everyone in this industry is doing to move it forward. Something I always say is I like to share with everyone in the industry uh, a, a big thank you from families from all over the world. A lot of the challenges that exist in manufacturing of some of these medicines, which impacts the time that it takes to bring a medicine to market, are really the same challenges from company to company to company. They all have very similar kinds of problems and technological challenges. And so rather than each company try to solve the challenge themselves individually and spend the time and the resources to make that happen, one of the things that Nimble provides is that place where organizations from across our ecosystem can work collaboratively together. In some cases, that's multiple big companies working on a common problem together. In other cases, that can be a university working with a small company. They've all agreed to come together, working with Nimble, working with each other, working with other stakeholders to try to solve those problems so that everyone can benefit. Whatever challenge comes next, it will be met by a biomanufacturing industry that is connected, prepared, and always nimble.